Hello everyone, welcome to Rockshire Gaming. My name is Eric. Today we're going to be doing another solo gameplay on the channel, this time in Marvel Zombies. We're going to be doing tutorial mission MZ0 Growing Hunger. Uh, it is the technically first mission in the game or the tutorial mission in the game. It's only for up to four players, um, so there's no five or six player variant, which is why we're not playing with the whole group that we usually play these kind of games with. Um, so I thought I would just do the four players on my own in solo, uh, just because. So we've got our four players out right here. Uh, I will go over changes to the rules as I uh, come across them. And I mean, when I mean changes to the rules, I mean most of the gameplays on the channel for this game are in the uh, Heroes Resistance version where you play as the superheroes. This time we are playing as the villains, or not as the villains, as the zombies, because uh, we're playing all heroic characters. They just happen to all be zombified versions of them. The main thing that's gonna be different from that gameplay as opposed to this one is how power works in this one, which is actually hunger in this version of the game, and the fact that you also have a new devour skill uh, or devour move as on top of your existing uh, attack and finally how bystanders work um, in this one so uh, but yeah we'll get to all those things as we go so I am using core box characters here in future gameplays we are going to be even in the first mission using uh, stretch goal characters from the Kickstarter campaign right off the bat, just so that way we can kind of showcase all the different characters that there are in the game. But I figure for this gameplay, we're just gonna solely use the core box characters, specifically the four, if you count Captain America in that, four founding Avengers. We got Iron Man, Wasp, Hulk, and honorary founder, Captain America. So we do have Iron Man right here with his missile wave attack with his repulsor blast blue skill. After attacking with missile wave, you may push enemies in that zone into an adjacent zone. Then we've got Wasp over here with her Wasp sting attack with her demand of size. You may ignore tiger priority when attacking with either Wasp sting or devour. Down here with the Hulk, he's got strongest there is. Enemies have negative one toughness against your attacks to a minimum of one. Unless using Thunderclap, you may reroll any dice if there is a superhero in your zone. And finally, Captain America with his Vibranium Shield, his shield block ability, which each time enemies attack your zone before assigning wounds, roll one die for each wound on a plot five plus, prevent that wound. So that is what we got going on with the characters. This is how the scenario is set up. I'm going to go ahead and read through the scenario synopsis here and go over what we're going to be doing and then we're going to go ahead and get this one started so this is an easy mission for up to 25 minutes we'll see how long that actually takes it says once the infection takes you there is no coming back all you can do is accept this new existence accept this perpetual need to eat if you let it go too long then the hunger leads to uncontrollable madness we don't have to eat them but we need to be able to think or we don't want to eat them but we have to be able to think to figure Figure this out maybe just one or two and then we can formulate a plan yeah just keep a couple or just a couple to keep the hunger at bay so that is the synopsis for this mission we're basically going around and trying to eat the bystanders again we've got two bystander cards all ready to go here um, just drawing them randomly from the bystander deck if we do need to draw other bystanders I do have that available. So our mission is to devour all bystanders. The game is lost if any bystander escapes the map. Then we also have to escape via the exit. That is a free action. Um, and as long as there's no enemies in the zone where we are, uh, we can get out. And then locked down, we've got a blue door right here that we have to get the blue objective here in order to open that blue door so that is what we're going to be working with here we've got our spawn points here and our spawn point here so we're going to go ahead and get started so like in the hero's resistance version of the game we have three actions that we can take on our turn four once we get to the level uh yellow skill level there um, we can interact with objects move attack uh, open doors and gain a zombie trait in this case. So those are the five options that we have for the three Actions we get starting off. So I'm gonna start off with Captain America One two and then I'm gonna open up this door right here I feel like going this way is gonna be a little bit better 
than going through this way, especially if we get stuck here and I don't want those zombies to spawn right on top of us. Speaking of zombies spawning right on top of us, now that I've opened the store, we are going to draw that zombie spawn there and it is four troopers. So we're gonna put those troopers right there. It looks like an office space of some sort. I can't really tell very well. So one, two, three, and finally four. We're also gonna flip this spawn card here and we are going to get Wong. So we're gonna go ahead and place Wong right here. So yeah, he is a combat bystander. So he is gonna be coming after us. He basically is gonna work the same way as the uh, troopers are where he gets uh, one action so he can either move or attack us. Um, and the text right down here at the bottom of Wong's card is going to be for when we do devour him, um, what he what benefit he gives us. After performing a melee attack, you may increase hunger to reroll any misses. So I'll probably get that for either Captain America or Hulk. We'll see how that goes. But I use one, two, and open the doors, three actions for Captain America. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is move over here with... Iron Man, one, two. He does have a range attack, so we're gonna use Missile Wave for one of those attacks and see if we can take him out. One of the things I am realizing I forgot to do at the beginning of Captain America's turn and the beginning of the round was move everyone's hunger up one. Unlike in, well, in the Heroes Resistance version, you do um, increase hunger every round by one but the change here is instead of using an action to increase hunger i'm sorry increase power by two um the hunger increases every time i roll one of the uh claw symbol or mouth symbols here the bite symbols on the dice so yeah that's going to increase that every time so let's go ahead and see what we do with iron man he does got one more action there so with the one hunger and his skill there he is throwing four dice for his missile wave so let's go ahead and see what he does with that so he hits on a four or higher so he hits one two three of the zombies takes those out right there and increases his um experience points by three so that is all of his actions so i think what we're going to do here is we need to clear up that room so we're going to go with wasp one two and then she's going to fire into the room as well with her range attack uh with her ability she only has three dice she can roll so we just need to hit one on a three up which we did right there but she also gains a hunger from that so she takes out that trooper. We have one experience point there. Hulk's gonna move to the middle of the room for two actions and then take a zombie trait as his action. He's gonna get opportunist discard before attacking and increase hunger. Add one plus one to dice results for this attack. So there's that and with Wasp and Hulk going, everybody has gone. So next we activate any zombies or on the board. There are none. We're gonna activate Wong. He's gonna move one into that zone. So that is all we're gonna do there. Then next we are going to go ahead and spawn zombies. So starting with the one up at the top, we are going to draw a superhero. Great, nifty. First superhero we're going to draw is <clears throat> the mobile spawn zone himself, Doctor Strange. He acts as a spawn point during each enemy phase. So I'm going to place that right there so I can keep track of it and keep an eye on it. Um, we are going to place Doctor Strange right here. Now the card does say that he works as a spawn point during um, the enemy phase. The FAQ does specifically say that he does not generate any zombies on this turn. So if I can get him taken down before he goes again then I won't have to worry about those extra zombies but now we're gonna go over here to this spot right here and we're gonna draw two uh, guards right there so and the reason why we're doing two is because we're at blue level according to the card right here so we're at blue level so we're only drawing two whenever somebody does get to yellow we will join three and so on and so forth so let's go ahead we put the two guards down 
right down here. And now we are going to continue on. So we're going to flip everybody back to unactivated. And then we're going to increase hunger by one with wasp at three total, everybody else at two. So <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to have Hulk move in here with Wong. And Hulk is going to attempt to devour uh, Wong so he can gain that card. And plus we have to devour them anyway. So uh, devour gives you one die to use and two more because of the hunger level. So I get three and I hit on a four plus and I got a six. So Wong is taken down. Unfortunately, Hulk gets his zombie card right there or his bystander card right there. And so that was one, two. Hulk, I think is gonna move back out here for his third one, just that way he can help with mitigating damage if possible. And I think objective wise, Wong or Hulk also doesn't get any XP because it doesn't say anything in the book about bystanders in this scenario, getting giving experience points and the devourer devouring civilian or devouring bystanders doesn't give experience points on its own. So I think we are going to move in one, two with Captain America. He's going to pick up the objective and he's going to increase his experience points by five right there. And that is going to be his turn. Tony is going to attempt to fire at Doctor Strange from afar. Now, Doctor Strange does have three toughness, so he should be able to hit him. So, um, or we should be able to knock him down because we're going to be using five dice, three from the actual missile wave and then two from the hunger. So let's go ahead and do that. And I was completely wrong. So one, two hits, doesn't take him down. So that's my first action. Second action, I'm going to try it again. That was a lot better. One, two, three, four hits on three hits. So Doctor Strange is gone. So there is that. So his card goes away. We're going to put it over here for now. And let's see, he had three toughness. So the XP reward for him is going to be three. So Tony is up to six on his next hit on something. He is going to... Um, he's going to go into yellow. So what Tony's going to do on his third and final attack is open the blue door since we have the blue objective. That is going to cause a few spawn points to activate. This one here and this one here with, let's see, the bystander that we're going to have is General Thunderbolt Ross. So he gets put right there. Thunderbolt Ross is also a combat bystander. Once during your turn, you may increase hunger to push all enemies in your zone into an adjacent zone. So that is gonna be that. Let's go ahead and spawn here first. And we got another superhero, great. So I'm gonna get Thor, his attacks deal two damage and he's at five health. So that's great that he is just chilling in that room in Oscorp, lucky us. So Thor gets to go right there and then hopefully something bad's not in that room. Uh, nope, only two troopers. So we're gonna put the troopers back right there and see what we can do that is going to be all of tony's turn so tony's gone cap got that so next we have wasp so wasp still in the same zone haven't has not gone yet she with her five dice is going to attack the troopers inside that room so let me get just five dice here not that many Five dice here. So she takes out two of the troopers, but she is now ravenous because of this die right here, Because and she goes to four. Uh, she got to four hunger, so now she is ravenous. The only things that she can do now are move and devour. So with her first tech, she did that. So she's gonna go one there and Let's see. 
So she took out two guys, right? So she's at three now, experience. So... You know what? So I can get Thunderbolt not to move. He's probably end up going to attack her. So I'm actually going to move her in there with him. And then that is everybody that I have. So we're going to now activate zombies. We're just going to move these two guards up one. So they're on the way in. And Thor gets two actions. So he is going to move one into here now technically he has line of sight here line of sight here what i'm going to do for this one uh because there's no committee meeting or anything for me to have with this is odds here odds he's going to go here evens he's going to go here evens he's going to walk out the door and engage with uh on a second attack he's going to go engage with uh the uh boys outside his uh, other founding, well, they're all founders. Yeah, basically, I have all the founding Avengers right here, except for uh, except for Ant Man or slash Giant Man. So that is going to be that right there. So now we spawn. So starting with the spawn point up at the top, we have extra activation on the superheroes, but no one is at yellow level right now, so no activation gets happens. So, and then the next spawn point, good lord, another superhero. So another superhero is going to pop up right there. That superhero is going to be Spider-Man. Awesome. However, Spider-Man spawns in the closest zone with a zombie hero. So the zo closest zone with a zombie hero is going to be the street. So, oh no, Spider-Man stays over here. So Spider-Man is going to swing in right here. So we've got four... Uh, a four health and a five health. <sighs> that is going to suck. Also, I'm realizing Wasp at the end of her turn should have taken the damage because she was in the zone, or because she was still ravenous at the time that Thunderbolt Ross was, um, or that time because she was ravenous at the end of her turn. That's what I was going to go with. So, with that said. That is the end of all the zombies, so we're going to go ahead and flip all my tokens back to here. Cap and Hulk and Wong. Or, I'm sorry, Wong. I was looking at Wong's card. Uh, and Tony are all going to flip to three. She's already ravenous, so I'm going to have her go first. Because I need to get her unravenous. Anyway, and we need to take out that bystander. So she is going to have one die plus four. So she's got five die to attempt to eat Thunderbolt Ross on a four or better. So there is the four. So, and these don't count because I'm in the middle of devouring. So she goes there. Thunderbolt's gone. And technically she gets that so once in your turn you may increase hunger to push all enemies in your zone into adjacent zones i might need to maneuver her let's see if i had a way of getting her out of that zone i would do it i'm actually gonna go with her for her other two moves I think I am actually going to move her into here. So that way, if I need to, on the next turn, I can push them out of there if I can't take them out with everybody else. So there is that. So that's going to be her turn. Um, let's see. We're going to do Hulk Smash on Spider Man first is what we're going to do because enemies have negative one toughness against your attacks to move one unless using thunderclap you may reroll any dice if there is a superhero in your zone unless using thunderclap you may reroll any dice if there is a superhero in your zone so i can reroll any dice with the superhero in my zone 
And then I can reroll misses if I want to increase hunger with Wong there. So I probably should have given that to Cap now that I'm realizing it. But anyway, so Hulk with Hulk Smash is going to roll three plus three. So he's going to have six dice. And we're going to go Spider Man. I am reducing because the strongest one there is. I'm going to reduce his uh, health down to three. So there's that. And that was a good roll. So I hit him for one two three thank the lord so we're gonna discard that there he had four total health now his toughness is four i reduced it to one so i would assume that would give me three or that would it's a reduced to one so it's three toughness at the time i attacked him so i do only get three uh xp no idea i'm gonna go with four just because that's what i'm gonna go for right now if you guys want to let me know in the comments whether or not i played that wrong let me know um but yeah that is gonna be that so that is the first hit right there and then i basically i guess i'm gonna do the same thing with thor um yeah uh i guess i'll do that so oh, we'll take the Spider-Man off of there. So now we got to deal with Thor. So same six dice with the hunger levels and everything. And I got one, two, three. So I did not take down Thor. But I may re-roll any dice if there is a superhero in your zone. So I'm going to re-roll these three dice. And that was the fourth hit and my strongest one there is reduces him down to four so he takes it in the process though i did go ravenous so there is that thor is taken down uh hulk will get one two three four five so we are in yellow now so he does get an extra uh activation so all he can do is move he did two hits, so we're going to move him one in here. He is going to go start going to the exit. Since the exit is a free action that can be done, I believe he can still exit while ravenous. So that's at least how we've been playing it. Again, down below if I am wrong. So actually, I just glanced at the FAQ. It does say on there that I can still leave the board while ravenous. So we are going to do that here in a minute. So that is Hulk. Uh, Captain America is going to attempt to move. One, two three so he's in the room with hulk and i guess tony tony is going to stay where he is for a minute the reason why he's going to take a zombie trait he's going to use an action to take a zombie trait uh hunger sprint discard removing hung increase hunger by any amount to move that many additional zones so he's going to do that mainly because of the fact that in the event something basically attacks the wasp in the middle of all this uh won't well, you know i have somebody right there that can at least help out do you realize now it's both the range characters that are still on the street but whatever all right so next turn these two guards move up one there's nothing else on the board let's go ahead and start spawning zombies so we'll go right here we've got two specialists since we are now in yellow so one two they are going to move right here and right here and then for this spawn point there we're going to have four specialists so one two and three and four so there's the four specialists right there they don't move thank the lord so i think i can get out of here we'll see um all right let's activate everybody back up Except for everyone went ravenous on there. Hulk should have taken a damage, so I'll put that there. But everyone is now ravenous. All they can do is move and devour. So Tony's going to go one, two, three. So I guess we can get out. One, two, three, and then free action leave. And then Wasp is going to one, two, three, free action leave. Hulk, one, two, leave. Captain America 1, 2, leave. So that was the tutorial mission for Marvel Zombies. That kind of gives you a little bit of idea of how the mechanics of the game 
work and yeah didn't really have much zombie fighting to do uh took out t three different superheroes a couple of of uh troopers and any, any, yeah, didn't even get to engage the specialists or the guards so that is how well that worked so next time we play this we'll definitely bring in deadpool and captain marvel but we will start to incorporate the other uh characters from the stretch goals first going with more avengers style characters since we're playing the technically avengers version of the game although deadpool's in there probably because of marketing um so we're gonna be doing that in my mind, since uh, Thor, Doctor Strange, and Spider-Man are taken out, uh, I would like to um, basically put other characters in there. So we will still shuffle in Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, and don't have the other one in front of me, uh, but it would be Miss Marvel, I guess. Uh, I don't know where her spawn card went, but it's probably still in the box somewhere. Anyway, um, so we'll incorporate those three characters along with probably grab three to five stretch goal characters to throw in there. So we'll kind of know what to expect from the games a little bit, but that is what my plan is going to be. Uh, also, uh, since Thunderbolt Ross and Wong are gone... I don't know what we're going to do about, we'll just go ahead and probably incorporate again, stretch goal stuff in there for that. There's enough stuff in there, enough bystanders and whatnot. We should be okay. My goal is to not mix and match, um, uh, like not bring back things that we've already either devoured or whatnot. So, um, or killed off in some way. So that is what we're going to be doing. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this apparently very short, um, solo playthrough of marvel zombies this is probably the shortest actual playthrough i think i did do it within the 25 minute time frame so uh there you go i uh i have nothing else to ramble and say so i'd like to thank you guys for tuning into this one make sure you in uh hit the notification bell if you want to know when more of these are coming out we will definitely be having more of these on the channel in the coming weeks uh hit that subscribe button if you are new here and like this video if you did enjoy it uh with all that said i am eric this has been rockstar gaming you guys have a great one we'll see you in the next video Bye bye